One of the first things you're going to do with a patient is assess pupils, angles, and dilate. So one of the first questions you're going to ask is, are you allergic to any medication? Now pr prior to starting pupil assessment, we need to close the room lights. And what we're checking is the direct response of the pupil. We want to be sure the pupil does get smaller when you shine the light in it. And you want to do that in both eyes. Now direct as well as indirect. We want to be sure the other eye is also constricting when you uh, shine the light in, the, in that eye there. And then we're going to go ahead and do uh, angles. You want to be sure that the other side of the iris is illuminated. Okay, and you want to do that in both eyes. Okay, and then you're going to go ahead and make an APD, a ferret pupillary assessment. And what that does is you want to be sure the constriction of the pupils is the same and equal between both eyes. Excellent. So what we're testing is for the possibility of optic neuritis, Horner's syndrome, some cases of syphilis will present in this way. You're essentially measuring the ability of that main optic nerve uh, to constrict that pupil. So it's a nerve function test.